What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. We're back again with another video regarding WWE Elite Series 75. We did talk about the mock images last video, and I literally just posted that video not even an hour ago, I don't think. But we're back again. I told you I would post up a new video if we did loose images, and here they are again, ladies and gentlemen. You can go ahead and pick up WrestleMania... Wrestle the hell am I talking about? You can go get your wrestling figures. WWE Elite Series 75 is in stock now and shipping. You can use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. But let's dive into these images, guys. Let's start off with Jeff Hardy. Now, Jeff Hardy is the big one in the set that everybody was really looking forward to. You know, we really didn't know what he was going to look like. And here he is out of the packaging. And I really do love this figure. I really do like it a lot. The only gripe I have is is the head sculpt. I really don't know what it is about it. It's like the nose shape or something, but it really just, I think from far away, like if you look at the full body image, it's like, yeah, that looks like Jeff Hardy. But then when you zoom in on his face, it really doesn't look that much like Jeff Hardy. And I don't know if it's the eye shape or the nose shape or what it is, but I'm not very big on this head sculpt. I think the rest of the figure looks fantastic. I'm very happy with the face paint and the hair and everything about it, except for like the eyes and nose. Something is off about it. Which is really weird because when you think about it, every Jeff Hardy figure that we've gotten from Mattel so far, the head scan's been pretty banger. So it's, I don't know, I just don't understand it. Um, maybe we can like modify some other head sculpts or something, or I, I really don't know. Maybe everybody's will be different, but I'm just not getting a big Jeff Hardy look from this head sculpt. And again, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, it could be the eye shape or the nose shape. Or, again, I'm not really sure. But, again, when you zoom out, when you see the full body of the figure, it looks just like him, sort of. And then, like, when you get in there, you can really tell it really doesn't look that much like him. At least in my opinion. What do you guys think down below? Let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, I still love the figure, though. I think it's a really awesome figure. I love that we're getting the 2002 era Jeff Hardy. I love the necklace. I love the white tank top that we've been waiting on. You know, we don't have to freaking swap a Dean Ambrose torso on there anymore. Um, so that is a very big bonus. But, I don't know. Head sculpt's just a little bit off to me, but that is the Jeff Hardy images, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to Seth Rollins real quick, and we already knew pretty much what this figure looked like, but I did want to dive in there. They did get the deco of the Rollins and the SR on the back of the vest, which is a very big deal. It looks like they are still going to continue to give him the little lip, you know, where you spin the kick pad. You know, it's not going to be the Finn Balor or the CM Punk kick pads. It's going to be the Seth Rollins style or whatever you want to call that where it gives you that little circular part and the knee pads are kind of difficult to take off, which isn't a big deal. I'm fine with the same Seth Rollins, you know, tooling that we've been getting. It's fine with me. Attire looks really good. Head sculpt looks really good. It kind of looks like they, um, I don't know, it, it, it's pretty much the exact same head sculpt as the 102. It may be a tad different, like painted, or maybe they did a little bit something different with it, but it's the same exact head sculpt pretty much. Um, the attire looks good. I like all the blue and orange colors look pretty accurate. I like that they got the brightness in there and everything like that. But that is the Seth Rollins thing. It looks good. Um, one thing I will say, they did leave out some details on the vest. Like the front part of the vest is a little bit, you know, like they left out some of the details on it, but it's not a huge deal to me. I still like that we're getting the vest, period. I still like the vest. I like the I, I like everything about the figure here. So Seth Rollins is looking really, really good. Next up, guys, we're going to get into Kalisto. Now, Kalisto is one of those figures in the set that I think is going to be super poseable. I think that people are going to have a ton of fun with this figure. Um, it looks really, really good. It looks like they gave him the same style, like lower legs that he's been having you know it's like sort of like shorter lower legs and then he has the kick pad look but they're kind of like boots they fit the figure like boots but it looks good it doesn't look bad at all I think it works really well it's not like Johnny Gargano where it looks kind of odd for some reason it just looks right on Kalisto here with the knee pads and the you know the the waist wrap and everything I really like this figure a lot um it does come with a rubber shirt which isn't the best but Kalisto figures are great and this one is going to be his best I can tell by the excellent head sculpt and the mask colors and the attire overall uh it comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands you get the lucha lucha hands with the pointing you get the open hands and then you get the mic holding hands with the red tape and this is just a really strong Kalisto man I'm really really happy with this Kalisto and how it came out um now we're moving on to Pete Dunn and this Pete Dunn figure looks great again we talked about it in the mock images but the the face images of this look just like Pete Dunn I really like the true effects going on Maybe a little bit of paint missing there on the on the beard chin. Nothing too crazy, though. Very easy to fix. Um, nothing too bad. I think it looks just like him, though. I'm really happy with this. The only gripe I could have about the Pete Dunn is maybe it's not the best attire. You know, it's kind of just plain Jane black. And his last figure we got was black besides the maroon, you know, kick pads. He did have the maroon stripes, but uh, it's not a big deal. I still like the Pete Dunn. Very customizable figure. Very easy to get in there and do some customization with it. It's going to be an excellent figure. I can't wait to get this Pete Dunn. I love Pete Dunn, and this figure can 
captures him perfectly. I really do enjoy the head sculpt and everything like that. So Pete Dunne looks fantastic. Seth Rollins looks fantastic. Jeff Hardy looks great besides, you know, a little minor gripes about the head sculpt there. And then the Kalisto looks great. And then we have the women of the set or the woman of the set is Mandy Rose. And again, I think it looks just like Mandy Rose. I think that everything works good with it. It's just her arms, maybe. I, I don't know. It's just her arms look a little bit skinny like we talked about the last video. She does have her interchangeable hands. I'm really excited for the double-jointed knees, which are going to make this figure much better to pose. You know, the women's figures have just been outstanding, you know, in 2019, towards the end of 2019, we got Becky, we got Kyrie Sane, we got Natalia, and they continue and continue to get better and better in the next set, we get Lacey Evans, so I think in the, the next couple years, guys, we're going to have so many nice female figures that aren't going to, you know, have to fall over anymore, they're going to be excellent to stand and pose around with, so the double jointed knees are fantastic. The only thing I could request now for the women figures is just give me some ankle pivot and it's going to be over with. They're going to be able to beat the hell out of the men's figures for sure. But this Mandy Rose figure does look good except, you know, a little bit skinny and in my personal opinion, I think that her arms could be a little bit muscular and it's probably easy to just switch those out with, you know, some Caitlin arms or some, some different arms that will make the figure look a little bit better, a little bit more accurate. But moving on, guys, we have the regular version of the Hurricane and this figure just looks so good. I, I'm really satisfied with this one. I feel like his eyes may look a little bit cartoony, but at the end of the day, I really love it. I love that we're getting the cloth cape. The cloth cape looks so good. The interchangeable hands, you get the fists and the mic holding hands. I like that. Um, I think the, you know, the green hair and the mask and everything looks good. Really satisfied with it. I love that he's got the hurricane expression going. Um, just a really strong figure overall. Can't wait to hold the cape. And I'm so, just so glad we got a cloth cape, man. You know how easy it would have been to just give us a rubber cape and then it just impose all this difficulty posing it. So it's really nice to see that he comes with the open knee pads. He's got the, you know, the black and green going on and one thing I did notice is it looks like they did do the little Johnny Gargano thing with him where he has, you know, the shorter lower legs and then he has the kick pad boots that are short like the Rollins or the Kevin Owens. That's kind of what they went with there with the green shoes. So that is a little bit, you know, I, I, I'd rather have full kick pads, but it doesn't seem that it's going to be that big of a deal or noticeable. But one thing I think would actually... Actually, it's going to be actually really easy to fix, which I'll show you guys on Action Figure Surgery. I'll show you guys exactly how to fix it and make it a lot better. So that'll be something we can do on Action Figure Surgery to look forward to to fix that lower leg problem. Now we're going to look at the Chase Variant version. And the Chase Variant version is gorgeous. I freaking love the Chase Variant version. I think it's um, a much better version than the uh, the regular version. You get the extra deco on the chest like we talked about last video. You got the green knee pads which stand out. You got the white kick pads that stand out. And then you have the lime green on the feet. Just a really good looking figure, man. Man. And then the, the uh, deco on the outside of the legs with the extra Hurricane logos just looks so good. And I think the capes are identical. So the, the capes are pretty much identical. Um, there's no difference in that. Um, it's just mainly the deco on the chest, the legs, and then you have the white and green kick pads. And then you have the green open knee pads. But we're going to fix both of these figures up. I am going to show you guys how to fix the uh, the issue with the lower legs and the kick pads to make those longer. If you want to have the longer version of the kick pads to make it better and more accurate, I think. I don't think Hurricane had the shorter versions like that. I'm pretty sure he had the full kick pad, so we'll just have to look at that. But I am going to fix that. I'll show you guys how to do that on Extra Figure Surgery episode, whatever the hell, once we get all the reviews done. Because you guys know, once the figures come in, we'll review them. We'll take a closer look at them. We'll compare them. We'll do all that. We'll rank them from worst to best. Then we will run them all through surgery and fix up anything we need to fix up on them. But it doesn't look like a lot of them need that much surgery. I know I am getting a few of the Jeff Hardy, so we are going to do some cool fix-ups with him. Uh, maybe some arm swaps and stuff like that. We'll probably do uh, some head swaps with one or two of them. We'll do uh, Seth Rollins. I really don't know what you could do with that one. Uh, I can, nothing's really coming to my head right now. Uh, maybe a head swap just to see what some different head sculpts look like on it, but nothing too crazy. Hurricane, we are going to fix his lower leg problem. Uh, Pete Dunn, uh, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe we could switch out his lower legs with some different colors, maybe to make it look a little bit better or a little different, just to change it up a little bit. Mandy Rose, maybe we can fix our arms. Uh, Kalisto, I'm not really seeing anything on Kalisto, but you know, you never really know about a figure and fixing it up until you have it in hand and you can kind of test it out, see what it's like or anything like that. And I'm actually just noticing on Kalisto's figure, uh, I don't think he had those shoulder tattoos last time. I could be mistaken about that, but it looks like he does have his new shoulder tattoos on there, which look great. And I'm really feeling that mask. Dude, the mask is so sick AF. But um, 
Just a really strong over, overall set, guys. If you want to pick up this set or you want to grab any of the figures in the set, you can go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. You can use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I already told you guys I got a full set and I have some extras out of the set, so I went ahead and got me some because I, I freaking love the way these figures look. They look excellent, but that is going to do it for the video, guys. If we have any more news, I will post it up to you guys, but I think that's it. We got the mock images, we got the loose images, and we got everything going. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic demos. WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.